Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got the new release from Clearly Besotted to share with you. The new set's released today, that's the 1st of December 2021 at 8pm at Greenwich Mean Time. You can purchase the sets as one whole bundle, so that's all of the sets plus free gifts and you also get a discount off of the price as well. And that's exclusive to the Clearly Besotted shop only. Um, but you can purchase all of the sets separately from Clearly Besotted, Simon's Stamp, Card Nouveau, Art Creator 2 and and cloud nine crafts so as i usually do i'm going to share the new sets with you and also the samples that i have made as a design team member so this first set here is the squeak it's christmas it's absolutely adorable so you've got all of these lovely singing mice here at the top and then you've got the lamppost there with the wreath on and then you've got the musical notes you've got a separate musical note there and then you've got a little lump of cheese which is really cute and the little holly there you've got some lovely sentiments that kind of depict as if they were singing which is really nice they're all kind of um, songs and they've also got mouse in the um, phrase as well so things like it's beginning to look a lot like Chris Mouse all I want for Chris Mouse is you driving home for Chris Mouse you've got things like hello fa la 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 squeak squeak and things like that just some added little extras that you can make some cute little scenes with so this is the card that I made using this set. I took inspiration from a class by Sandy Ornock. So um, this is interpreted from her class. I didn't make it up myself. I do want to be honest about that. Um, but I love her classes and she just shows really well how to create little scenes and things like that. So um, I created the kind of forest scene in the background there. I did some snow there. All of that is done with Copic markers. I went with purple because I thought it was quite cute. I happen to really like the color purple and I thought it would be quite nice for like a winter scene so you've got all of the cute little mice singing there and then the sentiment stamped at the top there and then I just added in some white gel pen kind of stars and little kind of snow and things like that just for a cute little scene Next up is the birthday boycott set. This is such a fun set. So you've got all of these grumpy dogs here, perfect for birthdays. So you've got like one with the um, cake there, one with the cupcake on top of his head. Really, I think that one looks particularly grumpy, which is so funny. One with the balloon and things like that. You've got these presents here, which are really nice. You can use them separately. You could use them with other critters or with the dogs as well some fun set some fun sentiments excuse me that kind of work with the grumpy feel so things like um you are retro not old young at heart slightly older in other areas you've got like another uh, not another birthday um aging is rough just a really kind of fun set Next up is the Snow Scenes 2 set. So last month we had the Snow Scenes set with the London skylines and now we've got a beautiful New York skyline and then a Paris skyline there as well. You've got an extra tree there and you've got some lovely sentiments that some work with the skylines and some just work on their own. So things like... Um, start spreading the news for like the New York and then you've got things like sending long distance hugs, um, sending smiles across the miles, um, always together, never apart, maybe in distance but never in heart. Just a really lovely set that you could send as kind of long distance cards, um, you could send as Christmas cards, you could send all year round I think. Although the buildings do have some kind of snow on the top of them you could probably manage to get away with using this all year round I do think. So this is the card that I made using this set. I thought I would go a bit monochromatic and do some blues with the Paris scene. So I stamped out the Paris scene there and then cut that out with a Hero Arts Heart Infinity die. I thought it would look quite nice sort of as a heart shape. And then I kind of created like a moon. It's not quite symmetrical, but I think I've just about got away with it um, for the night sky. They colored that with obviously all the blues and then I did the blues for the buildings as well. I did some kind of heart highlights from the from the moon there stamped out the sentiment in so you could see it um, in front of the moon and just added some kind of stars and snow there as well Next up is the Pigs in Blankets set, um, such a cute set. So you've got all of these pigs wrapped up in their blankets. This could be used all year round for lots of different occasions. You've also got the pigsty there or the little barn, whatever you wanted to call it with the haystack and the tree there. So you could have the pigs inside, but you can obviously use that separately. You could use the pigs separately as well. They're just really cute little images. I happen to really like pigs, so um, really um, adorable little pigs 
colleagues there some different kind of sentiments things that maybe go with Christmas but also things that you can use all year round things like sending hogs and kisses missing you pig time warmest wishes uh, things like that Next up is the Santa Claus set, um, a really fun set, something very different for Christmas and the holidays. I do think you could probably use this set all year round though as well. So you've got this really beautiful seabed image, which I think would work perfectly with lots of other images like fish and dolphins even, things like that. But you do have all of these cute little crabs dressed up for Christmas, one with the Christmas pudding there, one with the lights around it, one kind of wrapped up as a present. I think that would work well for birthdays as well. One with the Santa hat, one holding the present there. Some fun kind of punny sentiments, things like I think you're clawsome, Christmas is not the time to be shellfish, um, Santa Claus is coming to town, um, Christmas is coming, keep calm and don't get crabby. Just a fun all round set. And so this is the card that I made using that set, kept it very simple, stamped out the seabed image there, coloured that with Copic markers and then stamped out the little crab there holding the Christmas pudding, did that separately, fussy cut that out, coloured it with Copic markers and then stamped out the kind of two sentiments there um, at the top and the bottom and just added in some little Lucy's um, I keep saying Lucy's cards, but it's little things from Lucy's cards. I did in some kind of raindrops there to kind of depict the bubbles. But I think it's just a cute image. You've kind of got like ornaments on the um, shell there as well. So last but not least is the Winter Corners set. So such a cute set. You've got these two kind of corner images here with the poinsettias, the little penguins nestled inside and the snowflakes there, some kind of extra foliage and things like that. You've got the separate penguin there holding the poinsettia as well. Just really cute little um, images. I really love these cute little penguins. You've got some extra kind of stars and um, foliage pieces and things like that as well. Some lovely sentiments, things like sending warm winter wishes and snowflake kisses distance means so little when someone means so much what will I do without you happy holidays just a lovely all-round set and so this is the card that I made using that set. I thought I would create one of the corner pieces up in the top right hand corner of my card. Coloured that um, with Copic markers, fussy cut that out with scissors. And then the sentiment there is from the Chitter Chatter set. I really love the sentiments in the Winter Corner set. I didn't think they quite worked with my personal design. So I used that sentiment there and I love that Chitter Chatter set. It's one of my favourites as well. Just did some really simple ink blending in the corner there. I did on some kind of splatter maybe to sort of represent snow and uh, just thought it was a cute little card so that's the release from clearly besotted for december 2021 links to the products that i shared will be in the description bar on youtube and also over on my blog and i do have blog posts for all of the cards that i mentioned in case you want any more detail and i'll leave those links down below in the description bar here on youtube thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon